Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Pace Yourself. Today we're going to be just talking about how to get a CPQ uh, developer org. So you can do this by a couple of ways and the links are in the comments below. But you can do it on Trailhead and you can do it on developers, Salesforce developers website. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in our details. So it's important when you're choosing your username that it's something you can identify if you've got lots of developer orgs. Um, so this one here will be pretty useful for me to know that it is a CPQ developer org. I'm going to go ahead and click sign me up. So now it's going to go ahead and send me an email just to verify uh, my details before it will set up my developer org. Okay, while I'm waiting for it to come through to my emails to verify, uh, just tell you a little bit about the CPQ developer edition. It only lasts for 90 days. You can link it to your Trailhead profile, but when you're doing things or configuration or testing in this developer edition, please keep in mind that it does only last for 19 days and all the package is pre-installed for you. So you can't actually like practice setting it up or the installation process around the different options on the CPQ uh, installation guide. So it's only for when you're creating configurations after it's already been installed. Okay, so I've received my email successfully. It asked me to verify my account and change my password. So I've done all those things. So let's log in to see what it looks like. It's a brand new CPQ dev org. So we're gonna go log in using the username and password I just created. Uh, remind me later. Okay, so if you're not sure if it's a CPQ org, you can always go up to the app launcher and you can find the CPQ app. Or if it's not at the top, you can obviously search for it and find the CPQ app. Comes in handy. My top tip for making sure you're in a CPQ app is changing your icon profile to something with like a dot in it that says CPQ or a color that references the CPQ profile for you because we have lots of developer orgs out there. So that's how you sign up and create a CPQ developer org that you can play around with all the developer and Salesforce CPQ objects without affecting any production environment or sandbox data. This is obviously loaded with um, generic data from Salesforce. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. I'm Mia Pacey, and this is Pace Yourself.